I thought I'd write this social media training tip because a lot of people get in and start using a lot of different social media, but they rush to do things that are not very productive for their business. In other words, if you're out there, you're meeting people, you're engaging people, you're trying to prospect, and you run into somebody that you think you really, really is, you know, like is going to be good for your business, then what you don't want to do is go for the hard sell. What you want to do is make sure that every engagement that you do, every bit of content that you put up, all the comments that you make, the comments you make back and forth with other people, that you're doing it and you're showing that two things. One, you are a business, right? And there is value that you have from their business. And as the individual, you embody that business. You're just like them. You're human, right? You have fallacies too. You have struggles achieving what you think you can help them achieve, right? It's all about that one-on-one -on -one interaction with a real person. We don't want to have interactions with faceless corporations. That's what's so great about social media, right? They get to deal with real people. And because it's real people, make your interactions human, right? Make them interesting. Make them still about your business and relevant for them as a target market, right? But you want to be perceived as the expert, right? And you want to be perceived as a real person. So make sure that when you're commenting, when you're putting up content, when you're engaging online, that people see the real you as well. It's one of the reasons why I do these videos, right? There's a real person behind the Practical Social Media University, right? I own and founded the university. I am the heart and soul of the university, and I want people to know a little bit more about me. I'll put things up on my Facebook timeline, my personal profile about my children, my kids, and where I live, right? Be balanced in terms of you as the business and you as the individual, and then make sure that you are sticking to your brand and what they need to know, and that you as a person use those services, use those recommendations yourself as well. You do that, you're going to have a much more human, much more productive engagement online with all of your social media.